welcome back today i'll be sharing with you how to make this delicious tasty classic italian dessert and that is the tiramisu Now I will be sharing with you the exact measurements that I use for this particular recipe and also they will be listed on the description box. Now into your bowl add in 250 ml of whipping cream. Then go ahead to add in 4 tablespoons of icing sugar. Next go ahead to whisk the mixture. Once you have a texture like this, go ahead to add in your mascarpone cheese and I'll be using 500 grams of it. Once that is done, go ahead to add in some vanilla extract. And this next ingredient is totally optional. You can add it. You can't even taste it anyway. It just adds a little bit of twist to it. And uh, that is whiskey. I'm using red label. So you can use whatever whiskey that you prefer and add one tablespoon of it. Once that is done, go ahead to mix everything together gently. Once that is done, set aside. Now I have 300 grams of ladyfinger cookies and for my coffee I have used 2 teaspoons of espresso powder. Make sure that your coffee is not hot. Next we are going to layer our ladyfingers so you are going to dip it in your coffee. Try and do it as fast as possible and let it not completely soak up. And go ahead to gently place them in your platter or tin, whatever you will be using to make your tiramisu. Remember, dip your lady fingers in your coffee very fast because you don't want to have a soggy tiramisu. Once that is done, go ahead to add in your mixture that we had prepared before and spread it evenly in your tray. Once you're done with that step, go ahead to take in some cocoa powder. I'm using a sieve and just spread it evenly all over. Once that is done, you're going to make our next layer. The process hasn't changed. We're doing the same thing that we did before. That is dipping the lady fingers very quickly in the coffee mixture and just layering on our tray. And you can always make as much layers as you can, but this is enough. I think this can serve a serving of maybe eight people. And once that is done, go ahead to add in the mixture on top. Like I said, no step has changed. Go ahead to add in your cocoa powder on top. I went ahead to add in the last layer. I thought there was no reason to film that as well. The steps are still the same and you can see now it is filled to the brim. And I'm going to finish that up by covering it with cocoa powder like I did before. And what I like about tiramisu is that it's very simple, very straightforward, no baking. You can never go wrong with this dessert and it tastes absolutely delicious. Once that is done, let it rest in your fridge for not less than 6 hours because it is important for the lady fingers to soak in all those flavors. And here it is six hours later the lady fingers have soaked in all those goodness and let's just cut this up and get into it. I absolutely loved this tiramisu and so did my family and I love my tiramisu eggless and this is it. And what I love about tiramisu as well it's a no bake so you don't have to worry about baking and all that no it's very simple very straightforward and i can't wait for you guys to try this recipe please share it with your friends and family and i will see you on my next recipe bye bye